St. Hilda's is Middlesbrough's oldest community, with a history that goes back over 1,300 years. It was a community which once thrived due to the abundance of jobs available from the nearby docks and steel industries. But as the work dried up, the area fell into decline. A number of efforts have been made to revive the ailing fortune of St. Hilda's. But after millions of pounds were poured into the area, it was classed as a failure. The council began to acquire properties so that they could be demolished and the land sold. In 1981, around 1,600 people lived in the area. In 2009, there are only 12 occupied houses. The few that remain are unwilling to sell at the price they've been offered. They wait in hope that a better offer will come. Piece of it, all the time. I remember if you actually want a piece of St. Elder still. That's what it is. Yeah. You want a piece of it. You can see it better than me, Jen, can you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Barbara Ufana has lived in a current house with a family for over 30 years, but has lived in St. Hilda's all her life. Demolitions are being planned in Middle St. Hill's area. Three to four tower green. Three to four. Well, I can't knock that down. Three. To... Oh, yeah. Our old ones is two. Yeah, that street's all empty over there. Well, it's all right to knock them down. What's the point of knocking down if, uh, if you've got no money to do anything with the area? I mean, we're stuck here in limbo. You're not filming me, I've never even had my hair combed. <laughs> Get out of it. Maureen Woodier moved to St Hilda's when she was 15. Her husband Dando was born and raised in the area. They've lived in their house for 33 years and have been married for 52 years. Did um, you chat her up? Oh, no, she shattered me up. She shattered me up, had my uniform on. Oh, yeah. I'd love to, he wishes. Oh. I shattered you up. <laughs> he only tagged on to me because no one else had happened. So, haven't you ever been that romantic then? Of course we have. How do you think we have now, friggin' kids? <laughs> they never had tellies. <laughs> It was marvellous. Yeah. If you had an out and your neighbour had, if your neighbour had, they'd give you, and if you had, you'd give them. But in our day and age, you didn't have an out to give because we didn't hardly get an out. Was there any stigma before, though, even before all this started happening? Did you ever experience any stigma because of being from over here? No. We were left no, off. We were aliens. We were the salt of the earth that, that lived over here. I mean, everyone has problems in the family. I've got 64 grandkids. And I'm the first to admit that two of them's been in prison. And I would say that's good going for 64 grandkids. I don't hide and try to sweep their uh, truth under the carpet. I don't. Well, it's, it breaks your heart to see when you come out on every day and look at what used to be here. 
if this was a thriving community, these people over here didn't have to go over the town for anything, because everything was here. There was one old woman, old Maggie Rowney, she used to prepare the bodies for burial. I never, never brought the undertakers in. She ain't done all that. If the shore strangers did want to know what they were doing over here, they weren't threatened. They just wanted to know what they were doing over here. There was a lot of hard people about. You had to, you had to be hard to survive. If you were, if you were weak, you were picked on. So these are their people that was could handle themselves, and same as over there could handle themselves, and that was it. Alwyn Phillips is Maureen and Dando's oldest child. She is currently the landlady of the only pub left in St Hilda's and the oldest pub in Middlesbrough, the Captain Cook. Everyone knew everyone. Uh, everyone was friends, anything happened, everyone clubbed together to help each other out. If anyone passed away, they'd be around everyone's doors collecting for them and helping out. Just absolutely brilliant when we were kids around here. Like, my mother's 70 coming up this year, my father's 74 coming up. Mother moved over here when she was 16 year old. She married my father when she was 16. And so she's only really known this life. And my dad was born and bred here. And he just won't go. In July 2004, it was announced that St Hilda's would become part of the council's greater plan for Middlehaven a £200 million redevelopment programme taking place around the Dockland area. Now, almost five years later, Barbara Ufano remains unsatisfied with the offer of £44,000 she received for her house. Along with her only remaining neighbour, Jean McGovern, she has arranged to meet the Mayor of Middlesbrough, Ray Mallon, to discuss the situation and try to reach a solution. It's been dreadful trying to get a meeting. It's easier getting a meeting with the Pope, I think, than getting a meeting with Ray Mellon. But we have to try. We've been there nearly five years. Fighting, fighting for, it. for it, and we're on our own now. So Unless this, it's the last straw this doesn't work. I don't know what we'll That's do. That's it. That's it.